everybody and welcome back to the vlog today is wednesday it's october the 26th october's flying by y'all it's flying by saturday we have our harvest festival at church but anyway we have just been at home today getting school work done i'm actually about to get some cleaning done right now because we're finished up with school and then this morning i put barbecue chicken in the crock pot we're gonna have barbecue chicken baked potatoes um what was the other thing we we're having baked it's in my menu plan. It was barbecue chicken, baked potatoes, and salads. Yeah, I think that was it. There's Amy. She lost a tooth last night. She lost her top tooth. She has been waiting so long to lose this tooth up top. How oh, cute. What little missing tooth up top. She was so, so excited to lose it. She has just been pulling on it, wiggling it. And last night, Josh was like, I think I can pull it. So he tried. It only took like one or two little pulls, and it was out. She was shocked. So she's so excited to have that tooth gone. Anyway, I fixed myself an afternoon smoothie. So I am sipping on that before I get started on some cleaning. I just need to get another load of laundry started, get the kitchen counters cleaned up, and then probably around, I don't know, 3.30 or 4, I'll put the baked potatoes in the oven and get those started. It's about 1.30 now. So it's a while later now. I had to run out real quick. A couple of things. Um, one of them is... I have an ace rewards card i don't know if you'll have an ace in your area but sometimes they'll send you out like a rewards card sometimes it's five dollars sometimes it's ten i actually have a 65 dollars rewards card and i just remembered that it expires the last day of this month so i only have a couple days to use it and i don't want that to expire i mean that's a lot of money that we could use in ace so anyway um while i had a free minute i came out i'm going to run into ace i'm also going into pet smart for a minute it's amy's time to go with me so she's with me um and we're just going to go in pet smart and look around for a minute so you want to go look around for a minute yeah <laughs> <laughs> see it dancing amy yeah it's so cute all right, we just came out of Ace. I wanted to show y'all what I was able to get with that rewards card. Um, I have been wanting one of these big bags all summer, either a bog bag or I think it's called bog bag. The big bags, you know, you carry. And then this one is the swig bag. Um, they don't carry any bog bags in there, but I found this one. I want one to go in the middle of my van right here because I don't have a console in the middle of my van. And I want to keep diapers and wipes, maybe even some little snacks in here at all times. That way, when I'm in the van and I forget the diaper bag at home or something, no big deal because I've got diapers and wipes stashed in my van. So that is my plan for this bag. So I was excited to find that and be able to get it for free with a rewards card. Um, and then I also got, and then the other thing I got is this. Um, it's a little garden flag sign and it says Merry Christmas. Um, I wanted a new one for Christmas because we're going to start decorating. We usually decorate the first or second week of November. So I'm so excited about day grade for Christmas, y'all. Um, so I got this to hang on our little garden flag outside. And then the other stuff we paid for because that was, took up the 65. So Amy just picked out some gum and I think she got some beef jerky bag there. But that's all that I got in there. But I was so excited to be able to get this bag. I'll show you what I'm talking about real quick. Oh, I totally forgot to show y'all this. It fell out of the bag. Um, but Kylie's birthday is coming up and I got her some cute little cozy socks with little dog paws on them. So I got those for her too. But here in the middle of my van, like I have this big space right here. So I'm gonna keep the bag here. And then I'll just put some like, it's pretty roomy in there too, y'all. I like how it sits up like this. And I could just put diapers and wipes and it's got a little pocket here. It's got a little pocket there. So that'll be nice to keep in the van. All right, it's 3.30 and it's time for all of these potatoes to go in the oven. And then in about an hour, I will fix, or actually about an hour and a half probably, I'll fix some salads, some mac and cheese, and then we'll be good to go. again everybody it is now the next day and i'm getting dinner in the crock pot this morning so i thought i would show y'all what i'm doing so i've got stew beef in the bottom of this crock pot and then next layer is carrots i just chopped up some carrots and then i have some cubed potatoes on the top 
Now I'm gonna mix this together. It's one of our favorites. You just mix it with some water, pour over the top, and it's gonna cook on low for eight hours. And y'all, it is absolutely delicious. I love my crock pot. It's one of my best friends. <laughs> it makes meals so much easier. Just throw everything in the crock pot in the morning. And then by dinner time, you have dinner done. You just make some sides and you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready to go on. Say Jesus. Now it's going to cook on low for about eight hours. All right, it's later now. It's in the afternoon, and we are about to head out. Allie has some clothes that she wants to consign at, like, this little consignment shop. Um, it's new in our area. So I think it's only been here, like, just a few months, but the girls love this store. So she wants to consign some of her clothes there. So we're going to go drop those off, and then while we're in the area, I actually have a Dunkin' gift card. So I thought while we were there, we would run to Dunkin' and grab some donuts for the girls, and I might try one of their coffees today. I don't know. What is your favorite from Dunkin'? I never know what to get when I go to Dunkin'. I do the blueberry crisp latte. I tried the pumpkin cold brew there, but I really didn't like that, y'all. I did not like their pumpkin cold brew at all. Um, I do like their blueberry crisp. What, what else have I tried? I'm trying to think. I don't know. So y'all let me know your favorite drinks at Dunkin' because that's one place when I go there, I don't know what to get. We don't have one here in our town. It's in another town. So when I go, I'm like, I don't know what to get. I don't know. So anyway, we're going to run out and do those things real quick and then come straight back home. That's all we have to do. Um, dinner's already in the crock pot. So tonight with that, I'll probably do like some rolls and I don't know. I may do mac and cheese for the kids because the kids love mac and cheese. So that's probably what we'll do for dinner tonight. So she's got a whole basket here that she's got folded and ready to go to the consignment. anything at Dunkin that I would like so I just got the kids some donuts and I came over here to Starbucks because I was thinking they had their cream brulee out now their cream brulee that they come out with every year because I looked on the website and I saw it but when I asked her she said they don't have them yet so I just went with a peppermint mocha I just wanted I just wanted a good hot coffee today I haven't came to Starbucks in forever and we're right here so I thought I'm just gonna stop there and I was gonna get a cream brulee like I said but it's okay they should come out with those soon Probably in November, I guess. Not too much longer. All right, so it's all done now. I've already started fixing plates, but it smells so good. I'm assuming it's gonna taste good too. All right, y'all, so it's the next day again. Um, I actually got ready this morning, like showered, makeup, all that. But now I'm gonna straighten my hair. It is about, it's a little bit after one o'clock. We're waiting, it's Friday. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's Friday. Um, so we're finished up with school. We're waiting on Josh to get home from work. Once he gets home, we have plans to go to a little pumpkin patch. And that's literally all it is. It's just a pumpkin patch. They have, um, it's actually held at like an elementary school and they just have like a bunch of pumpkins you go choose from. We try to go there at least once a year to get our pumpkin. So once he gets home, we have a couple of errands to run and then we're gonna go run and pick up a pumpkin. And then tonight we'll probably carve the pumpkin. Um, that's something the girls have always enjoyed is carving a pumpkin together as a family every year. And there is a really cute little pumpkin story to go along with that if you wanna carve your pumpkin, like while you're cleaning out the pumpkin, I don't know the exact story. But you just talk about once you come to the Lord and once you're saved that the Lord does that to us. He cleans us all out gets all of the sand out of our lives and then after the pumpkins all cleaned out and you see the little light in there and then we're supposed to be light out as Christians let our light shine and then we let our lives shine as Christians like the little pumpkin so we've told that to the girls before while we've carved out a pumpkin um if I if I remember I'll try to look up that little story I'm telling y'all about and put it in the description box um, that way if you want to do that with your kids you can but if I don't remember all you have to do is like Google um, what's it called, like Christian pumpkin story or something like that, it should come up and you'll know what I'm talking about, but it's really cute. But anyway, while I'm getting ready, or while I'm straightening my hair and it's quiet in here, there's nobody around, I wanna tell y'all something kind of exciting. Um, so y'all know back in, let's see, it was January of this year, I, we had told y'all that we were getting the girls a puppy, we put a deposit down on the puppy, um, and then a couple weeks later we found out Millie had hip dysplasia 
So then we obviously decided that wasn't the best time for a puppy because Millie had to be in a hip brace and all of this other stuff. So we actually got a refund back on the puppy and decided it wasn't a good time. Um, in the mid year, we ended up getting a, a Great Pyrenees puppy and it was actually supposed to be, its purpose was going to be like our guard dog, like over our chickens out there so that nothing could get them. But this poor dog, y'all. <laughs> He terrorized our chickens. He did not serve his purpose as protecting our chickens. Like he was the one terrorizing our chickens and they stopped laying because of him. So we gave him to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. And y'all know that we already have Willie. We've had Willie for over two years now. We got him like March or April. I think it was April, 2020. So over two years we've had Willie. He, and he's a great dog. He is um, just a wonderful dog. He barks if anybody comes up. He's such a good dog with the girls. Anyway, long story short, we had decided since we did not get the puppy that we wanted to get at the beginning of the year, we're going to get them one for Christmas. So it's going to be a group gift, like a group gift to all of our girls as their Christmas gift. Um, it will be ready next week though, November the 4th and 5th. It's going to be ready to go home. So it's going to be an early group Christmas gift. Um, my three oldest girls actually already know. I went ahead and told them so that they could be excited about it. But all my little kids, I have not told them yet. So we're just going to surprise them next weekend with this puppy. I know they're going to be super, super excited about it. So anyway, I cannot wait to share her with y'all once we get her and she becomes part of our family. Um, it is a girl and she's a golden doodle puppy. Um, we've been looking at these puppies for a long time and the girls have been asking for puppy because you know we we're supposed to get one back in January we're not able to so we decided Josh and I talked about it it would be a good idea to get them one as a Christmas gift this year the older girls and I my three older girls and I have been just bouncing around like puppy names and things um a name that they all really like is Penny we like Penny we like Mia I think we've talked about Nola what was another ginger um she's so pretty i'll try to pop a picture up right here so that you can see her and y'all y'all give us some name ideas that'll be fun i'll make sure my little kids don't watch this video but y'all give us some cute little golden doodle puppy female names that but anyway i just wanted to share that with y'all um that should be probably not in next week's vlog but the week after um the second week of november since we're getting here at the end of next week anyway i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog out here so i can finish up getting ready josh will be home soon Thank y'all for watching today's vlog and hanging out with us. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below for you leave today. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye y'all.